Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know you want to. And join the family. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media platforms so you can keep up with me. I'm gonna give you five seconds to do so and when you're done, we're gonna get into this video. <laughs> certain things that you can do that could hinder your growth and your progress while you are on your fitness journey and in as much as this title says women it could be anyone so both men and women you can all be making these mistakes so let's get right into the video the first mistake that I notice a lot of people doing when they are on their fitness journey is doing too much cardio so cardio is great I'm not saying that you shouldn't do cardio you should do cardio and cardio is great for cardiovascular reasons like building a healthy heart however a lot of women make the mistake of over excessively doing cardio and when this happens you are not only losing fat but you're also going to lose a ton of muscle tissue as well and this is what you don't want people make the mistake of equating fat fat loss to cardio. So you see a bunch of women when they come to the gym, they only do cardio. You go on the treadmill, you do two hours on the treadmill. After that, you hop off, you go and do the bike for another hour and then you go home. Over excessive cardio isn't going to do you any good, especially when you're not compensating it with resistance training. A lot of women do too much cardio and then they end up losing a ton of weight. And when they lose a ton of weight, what's gonna happen? You're going to lose your boobs and that ass is also gonna go too because that is muscle so when you're over excessively doing cardio you're going to lose a lot of muscle tissue and as a female you may not care too much about muscle mass because of the stereotype behind women having muscle but the more lean muscle you have the better this is because having more lean muscle means you look fuller but you also look leaner your body is more toned you feel much tighter and the overall better your physique is going to look also your body burns way more calories in the long term when you have more muscle mass so you can end up burn burning more calories when your body is at rest which means when you're not even doing any exercise you are still burning up calories and this is why having more lean muscle is also very important muscle is really great for stabilization and supporting the structure of your body especially as we age it can help with your joints it could help with back pain it can help with your function you function better as you age and also you look better I mean who doesn't want to be 60 and still look like they're in their 30s I do so ladies do not be afraid to have more lean muscle the more lean muscle that you have the better your overall physique and too much cardio can chronically elevate your body's stress hormones like cortisol having too much cortisol can affect your ability to sleep and this can affect your body's balance and your body functionality so what should you do now I'm not saying that you shouldn't do cardio like I said before cardio is important however you should minimize the amount of time that you spend doing cardio a good structured 20 to 30 minute cardio workout is all that you need try and do hit training with lighter weights maybe four to five days a week is enough don't over excessively do the cardio another fitness mistake that people make is diving right into a diet so you're just starting out your fitness journey you want to lose all of this weight and you dive in head first into a very restrictive diet for example a diet that tells you to cut out carbs or you're on a diet where you're eating one solid meal a day and then for the remainder of the day you're drinking smoothies this is going to build a very unhealthy relationship between you and your food and this is not even going to be sustainable because you're going to end up hating the process you're going to end up hating the journey and you're always going to be hungry so you're going to wonder is this what fitness is all about and the answer is no you do not have to go on a very very restrictive diet in order for you to get to your fitness goals you're going to see fitness as a form of punishment as a fitness trainer I don't put people on diets I believe that food should be enjoyed and is meant to be enjoyed and that you can still eat the foods that you enjoy but in a healthier way so there are many ways to turn those foods that you really love to eat into healthier meals so do not dive in head first into a crazy diet because you will not be able to keep it up so this brings me to my next fitness mistake mistake which is going too hard too soon so you're just starting out your finished journey you're excited you're excited to get your body snatched so you start going to the gym five to six days a week you buy all of these supplements whose names you cannot pronounce and sometimes you might even work to work out twice a day because you really want to feel like you're doing something and you've literally gone from zero to 100 and again this is not sustainable and it's more than likely in this situation where you would get an injury 
As important as fitness and exercise is to your body, so is rest and recovery, and so is you taking it slow. In order for you to see progress or muscle growth, you have to give your body time to adapt, you have to give your body time to rest, and you have to give your body time to recover. Going too hard too soon can definitely not be a really great way for you to ease into your fitness journey. You have nothing to prove to anyone when you're starting out, so don't feel like you have to go to the gym and do all of these crazy exercises with this immense amount of weights because you really wanna feel like you're doing something. It takes time to grow, and it also takes time to build endurance to build stamina so you have to ease into it don't just jump right into it because the same way that you jump into it you're gonna jump right back out so no go do pass yourself or <laughs> don't do pass yourself because sandra will not be there at the hospital room by your bedside while you're recovering from a broken ankle the next mistake is lifting too little weights or too low weights with a ton of reps thinking that this is going to make you bulk tone up or give you that really defined muscle mass that you're looking for. I personally like to balance out my training. There are days where I go to the gym and I'm just not really feeling that strong and I do lift lighter weights, but I prioritize lifting at my maximum. So that means increasing my weights and going as far, pushing my body rather as far as I can. If you're this type of person that goes to the gym and you usually stay in the same weight range all the time consistently, that isn't really the way to go, especially if your goal is to build lean muscle and you really wanna define your legs, your glutes, your quads, whatever muscle group that you wanna define, you have to get into the habit of progressively overloading your weights. Push your body. If you are lifting low weights and you can comfortably go past 15 reps, then that weight is too light for you. You need to get to a point where you are reaching your maximum at the 12 to 15 rep range. The final one is thinking that a hard workout will burn off a bad diet or a bad meal. I see a lot of people saying this and thinking this, and this is so wrong. You cannot out-train a bad diet, and you cannot say, oh, because you had a bad meal yesterday, you can go to the gym the next day and burn off the calories. It just doesn't work that way, and I'm sure we all wish that we could just eat whatever we want and then go to the gym and burn off the calories, but we can't. So let me give you an example of what a one day's meal of a bad diet would be. So let's say for example, for breakfast, I have a bowl of oatmeal with two boiled eggs, which is about 350 calories. After that, I have a whey protein, which is very high in protein, by the way. Let's call it 200 calories. For lunch, I have a plate of fried rice with fried chicken and fried plantain, which is about 600, 633 calories. Then I have a Coke with that, that's about 240 calories. Then a quick dinner because I couldn't make it back home, so I stop by, you know, a pizza place, pick up a box of pizza, and I eat four slices with six wings. That's about 1,110 calories. With that, I drink a glass of wine, which is about 140 calories. And then I have some leftover cake in my fridge from the night before. It's chocolate, I love chocolate. So I decide I'm going to have the last last slice of cake before I go to bed that day and that is about an extra 120 calories. So my total caloric intake just for that day was about 2,813 calories. Now just for reference, I'm five foot four, I'm 26 years old, I weigh 64 kilograms, and I'm extremely active. So for someone my size, my weight, and my level of physical my physical activity level my maintenance calorie just for my body to maintain this size to maintain my body composition it's about 2300 calories so from this sample meal that i just showed you you can see that i've gone over my daily maintenance calorie by 513 calories so i go to the gym the next day and i hop on the treadmill 20 minutes running on the treadmill at eight miles you're probably going to burn about 100 calories. So then we're gonna do some resistance training, some weightlifting, and if you're lucky, you probably burn about 150 to 200 calories if you're lucky. And as you can see, I still haven't burned off all the extra calories that I've gained from that meal. If this is what you're consistently eating, and some days more worse, especially if you're used to snacking all the time, all those meals that you think is not a big deal, all those no big deal meals, and I'm talking to myself here, okay? Sandra, I'm talking to you as well. All those no big deal meals that you think don't really matter, 
they do add up because what your body is going to do with all those extra calories that you've put on it's going to store it away as fat and when you're doing this consistently this is what is called a calorie surplus so you're not really losing or burning as many calories as you think you're burning when you work out so it is very important that you try not to compensate a bad meal with a workout because it just doesn't work like that so you negate what you're doing in the gym or what you're doing in your workouts by having a very poor eating structure so it's very important that you pay attention to your foods you should still eat healthy regardless of whether or not you're training for two hours a day or whatnot so your meals are really really important these are my top five please avoid fitness mistakes um, if you are curious as to what workouts to do um, if you need a workout program I do have free workouts here on YouTube I also have workout programs and challenges on my website as well as meal plans if you're curious as to what foods to eat or how to just structure your day-to-day -day meal plan check those out thank you guys so much for watching leave me a comment down below let me know what fitness mistakes you could be making if you have questions i would love to hear them i would love to answer them thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video